Thank you. <laughs> what comes to mind? What comes to mind as I, I look out here is uh, Devizes Town Hall, 1993. I arrived, um, put the chairs out. No bugger came and sat on them. Well, maybe three or four. I then put all the chairs back and went home poorer than when I arrived. And at that time, not only was that happening, uh, I couldn't go in a pub or down any street in Britain without being laughed at. I'd turn on the television and a comedian would say my name and to get a laugh. And now look at it. The point is, <laughs> the power that these guys I'm going to talk about in detail today used to manipulate, control and slaughter many of us, increasingly so, is only the power we give away every single day. When we take it back, game, set and match, it's all over. And we're in a period now, clearly, when people are waking up and that power is being taken back. I have to say this, that at a point when this manipulation, this global version of Nazi Germany starts to more and more put its head above the parapet where we can see it, it seems to be at its increasingly most powerful. It is in its death throes because this is the period when people in this planet are going to take their power back from the few that have run it literally for thousands of years. Now this guy, George Orwell, wrote his book uh, back in 1948, came out in 49, 1984 the book. In a time of universal deceit, he said, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. We are in a time of monumental deceit. At a time when, uh, did, you, did you hear Prescott? Uh, for people in America who are seeing this on video, Prescott, the Deputy Prime Minister, when he was trying to get Labour MPs not to go against uh, Blair Boy this week over these weapons of mass destructions, he said, Tony doesn't lie. <laughs> Tony only freaking lies, that's all he does. And what you find, um, and I'll go into this as we go through, um, this network works with reverse symbolism. Everything they say, they're actually saying the opposite. When they say they'll do something, it means they're not going to do it. When they say they won't do it, it means they are. And even the symbolism, as I'll get through uh, in this first section, is actually a, a mirror of what a symbol means to us. The population means the opposite to them. Oh, it's a big bloody stage, this, isn't it? Normally, I'm standing like this. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. It's because we've done that for literally thousands of years that the few have taken more and more power 
into fewer and fewer hands. We're seeing it now uh, all the time. We're not just getting big companies taking over small ones now, we're getting mega corporations fusing with mega corporations. We're getting uh, decision making politically going further and further away from the people. And it's happening because we're allowing it to happen. But the wake up call has arrived. I'm going to get knackered walking all around here, shite. Now, one of the things that stops people taking this thing on is they fear the consequences. And one thing I've learned over the years that fearing doing something is actually far worse than actually flipping doing it. And it's like, oh no, they're, they're up there and they're powerful, I can't to talk out about them, I've got to keep my head down, keep my mouth shut, whoa. It's like, um, it's like a footballer, you know, you can get a footballer, gets the ball in midfield, and he looks up and there's this big hairy defence in front of him. Right? So they go, oh, no way there, play the ball square, get it back, make no um, distance forward, poor, can't never get through there. Then you get the little guy who's got no fear. He gets the ball, looks up, big area defence. Whew, have some of this, darling. And he runs at them, ducking and weaving, and now who's in control? This big area defence is now reacting to him. It's, it's thinking about the power that is in this structure I'm talking about. That's the thing that stops most people speaking out and doing something about it. I'll give you an example. Uh, this is a Freemasonic um, kind of holy grail place in Boston, Massachusetts. It was one of the uh, really early places where Freemasonry started after the movement of European peoples to the Americas. It's got about five stories and what have you. And what you'd think is, oh, never get in there. Well, we went in and went to the guy on the desk and asked if we could have a tour, right? And he said, uh, we don't do tours. So he said, but um, if you want to talk to someone, go and see someone in the office. And he told us where to go and we walked down towards this office. And this place is like the Mary Celeste. There's nobody in it. So we kept walking and we had a camera, fortunately. And we go up the first floor and the second floor and the third floor, still nobody. And we walk into these amazing places. So here's an exclusive. The first time, probably ever, I have sat in the chair in the Freemasonic Temple. I, I wish I'd have uh, pulled my trouser leg up a bit. That would have been better. But it's amazing what you can do when you just go for it. Because, like I say, the power that this network has over the people of the world is the power we give to them um, every day. The other thing that I, I hear people say is, uh, mustn't talk about these things, it's negative, you'll frighten people. Well, I'm, I don't think knowledge and information is any, ever negative. I think ignorance is bloody negative myself. Because when we're in ignorance, we can be manipulated piece of cake when we are in awareness of it it's a very different story so all I'm doing today is putting out information that I've gathered over the last 13 years of travelling around the world talking to untold numbers of people in more than 40 countries to find out what's happening behind the movie screen we're told on the news is happening every day and what you find is that like I said earlier this whole edifice of power, once it's exposed, is a house of cards. Which is why it is so desperate to keep information about its existence from the people it is manipulating. And like I say, we're now in a period where the awakening is happening. And I've been almost a barometer of this from half a dozen people maybe in Devizes Town Hall to talking around the world to larger and larger audiences. And it's not me, it's the information that people are now opening their minds to as what has remained hidden for so long is now coming uh, to the surface. And the other thing I would say is, it's only information. I was talking to someone yesterday on the radio and he didn't seem to be able to get it around in his head 
that it is possible to put out information without trying to 